Levels, my name is Tazzy Cookie, Major Lookie, and I'm back for another episode of Weapon Strip. Thank God I am back, it has been way too long. Two weeks without uploading to my channel, but that's something personal that I had to take care of. And thank you for staying with me along the way. So this week's episode of Weapon Strip is going to be featuring the M4 Carbine, courtesy of DEFCON 1, getting 11 thumbs up on my last week's episode. That's how easy it is, folks. If you want me to showcase a weapon next week, leave a comment below, and hopefully that comment gets thumbs up the bums so I can see it on the top of my list and hopefully implement it in next week's episode. And as always, I like to get the stats out of the way with first, so let's talk about that before I give you guys my opinions on this weapon. The damage is 25% at mid-range and then dropping down to 14.3% at long range. The ammunition capacity is 30 plus one round in the chamber. The reload time is 1.85 seconds if it is loaded and 2.48 if it is empty, fully dry. The rate of fire is 800 rounds per minute. Now before I get to my favorite part of the segment, I want to explain something very quick. My opinions behind each weapon strip are based on these three things. How much I enjoyed using this weapon, how well the weapon performed during the week, and also how it looks, feels, and sounds. Those are the things I usually base my rating system off of. Alright, so seeing how we got that out of the way with, let me give you guys my thoughts and my opinions on how the M4 has handled throughout the week. Looks great, sounds amazing. Um, how does it actually handle? Well, let me get into that. Alright, it's kind of like a roller coaster for me when it comes to the M4. I loved it at times, but hated it uh, in long spans. The burst behind the, the weapon itself is three round burst, and that kind of was a positive for me. I, I, I loved it because it kept my accuracy um, uh, very, very high, and it felt like I was on target nine times out of 10. You know, and, and, and pinpoint accuracy with the three round burst, it was kind of a nice change from its sister weapon, the M4A1. But with that being said, I found myself <laughs> thinking that the M4 was actually the M4A1 at times in close quarter combat, and I would try to hold down the R1 button thinking it is an automatic rifle when it actually isn't. So there was a little bit of a learning curve. Now during the week, the best attachments that sufficed for me are the heavy barrel, the foregrip, and also the cobra sight. Um, those are the three things that I used for the duration of the last two weeks with the M4. And I have to tell you guys, it actually seemed to suit me very well. Now let's keep in mind, this is my personal opinion and my preferences behind the weapon. Something might work a little bit different for you, just go ahead and give it a shot. Maybe you'll like the laser sight, I heard that is uh, also, also very useful for the M4. One thing I can tell you though, is that you're going to want to kind of try to stay clear of uh, long distance targets. That's just a little tip for me, I didn't really see um, <laughs> any benefit in gauging a long distance target. Now for my favorite part of the series, the cookie rating. I'm going to give the M4 three and a half cookies out of five. Now you might be asking yourself why not four cookies. I The simple fact that I'm not going to give it four cookies out of five is because if you are engaging an enemy who just so happens to have an automatic rifle, which is half the freaking time anyways, I found myself losing quite frequently that gun battle. <clears throat> Other than that, everything else seemed very fine. I enjoyed this weapon. A lot of people say that they hate it and have mixed emotions about it and say that, you know, it's not very powerful, but I think it's a very powerful weapon if used correctly in close quarter combats. And like I said earlier, just kind of hesitate from, you know, engaging that long distance target. Uh, think twice of it, and if you think it is a, a, a possible kill shot, then take it. So I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Weapon Strip. As always, I'm your host, Tazzy Cookie, and I'm signing out. <laughs>